Hello guys, welcome to the final episode that I'm recording today of How To Be An Expert. This is the fourth one I'm doing today. And this one is the dreaded Tiny Arena. Now I know a lot of people don't like this track and the reason being is that it is so long and there's so many things that can go wrong. It's so twisty. They don't know the best lines. They don't know where to jump. They don't know where to U-turn. And it's just a mess of a track and there's so much time that you can save. In fact, the top 30 out of every track in the game on the leaderboards, the top 30 players on this track have the biggest time difference by a lot. It's like a good 6-7 seconds between 1st and, and 30th, so here we go. This was a decent run. It was by no means my best run, but it was the best I could get without making or going too close to the walls that I'm making mistakes but the only time save that there is compared to what I did is just going close to those walls so I'll show you now exactly how I do it we're comparing against the dev time ghost again uh, the dev time is really slow on this too compared to what time I'm getting here so do not worry about that we do one boost to the left and then three to the right you turn around the first corner do some U-turns, stay really close to the inside, exactly how I did it there. Feel free to pause the video and go back and look at what I'm doing. This section right here, I'm not actually hopping at all. The re I'm going to actually go back to this. We do the U-turn there. This section right here, we do a triple boost into here, and then I'm changing my direction as I land. The reason I do that is because the game tricks itself into giving you a landing boost when you haven't actually jumped. No one really knows why this happens, but we use it to capitalize on getting more reserves than we should. So this means that if you're one of those people that struggles with reserves on this track, definitely try that trick. What you want to do is you want to be drifting one way over the bump and then start to drift the other way just before you land and you'll get a landing boost without actually hopping on those. It only really works on those bumps there though on this track. There's some other tracks where it works too. So coming on to the final part of the track we just jump i'll explain the last part of the track in the next lap 58 32 a decent first lap if you're going for a really fast time like if you're going for the top page you want to be getting a 57 there for sure on first lap so we'd, we'll do it again get more reserves you want to do this every lap we get a landing boost every time we switch directions on one of those bumps here we do two boosts to the right and then we u-turn around that corner it's a bit wide this lap 2 was actually pretty bad thinking about it. It wasn't very uh, close to the walls. I think my lap 3 is way better. So you'll see exactly how to do it on lap 3. Uh, you turn around that corner as close as you can. This section is really interesting. You want to drift around here. Don't you turn straight away. Then when it starts to get more of a steep turn. That's when you want to U-turn and stay right around the inside. Or you want to hop on as you get to the bridge on that section get the boost pad again this is the final lap i'm pretty sure this final lap is way faster than my lap two if i remember rightly i took that a little bit wide around that corner but we we keep moving we keep moving triple boost around here drift get the reserve boosts again much better than the last lap's reserves boost as well we do one boost to the left three to the right and then we u-turn that's better closer in again a decent u-turn there and then we cut this Go through the mud. That's one thing I failed to um, say. If you go through the mud, it actually doesn't slow you down at all. I don't know why. It's meant to slow you down. I'm pretty sure most of the mud on this map slows you down. But that one doesn't for some reason. As long as you hop through it, you're fine. And it cuts out a little bit of the track. You'll save a few frames. Do the same thing again. One boost to the right. Two boosts to the left. Jump. One boost to the left into the U-turn into the final corner. Hop over these jumps again. Kind of slow hops there. I could have got faster hops. And there we have it. A 251.77. Miles ahead. If we go back uh, to before we finished. Look at where the dev time is. It's just gone under the bridge on the long straight. Going around the big tight uh, 270 degree turn. And we've already finished. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. It's been fun. And I'll catch you in the next one. Which should be... Dragon Mines, which should be very interesting.